The Kamano region has been a sacred site associated with nature worship since prehistoric times. After Buddhism was introduced to Japan in the 6th century, a new religion called Shugendo emerged and this area became a site of ascetic training. Kumano's rugged and isolated mountains were an ideal place for the demanding pilgrimages and training. South of Kyoto and Osaka is Kumano. There are five pilgrimage routes leading to the three grand shrines of Hongu, Nachi and Hayatama, known as the Kumano Kodo, the old roads of Kumano. Our tours travel the Nakahichi route, starting at Takijiri and travelling east to Takahara and Chikatsu, then visiting the Grand Shrine at Hongu, before crossing the Kogumotori Pass to Kokuchi and the Ogumotori Pass to the Grand Shrine at Nachi. I really love the Kumanakoto because it's it's in an area of Japan, the Ki Peninsula, which is is fairly undeveloped uh, and uh, fairly remote. Uh, deep valleys, uh, it's heavily forested, there are small um, natural hot springs, and you have this wonderful pilgrimage route that's been here since um, you know, the 11th, 12th century. You know, the walking is just, it's just sensational. It's a, it's a lovely four day, uh, you can do it in four or five days, um, and you have some nice accommodations as well. So you really have a lovely mixture, hot springs, wonderful accommodations, um, really good walking, and uh, a lot of history and tradition as well. The yeah, food at accommodation is something you don't eat in a restaurant in Tokyo or big city, even in Japan. It's really local, traditional food. we try to do as a company is we, um, for a variety of reasons, we use local family-run accommodations um, as part because we believe in a sustainable type of tourism. Um, but it's also because um, the quality is much higher, the quality of the food, you know, they're, they're cooking for, when you're cooking for 10 people to 15 people, um, it's different from when you're cooking for 100 or 200. By walking, you can see you know, every single tiny beauty of Japan. Uh, if you just take a big bus and you know, skip all the details, uh, you don't see, but you can see you know, uh, slow life in countryside and you know, very friendly local people. And, beautiful rice fields, you know, everything uh, goes by slowly. You have the time to really appreciate it. And also you can go to small places where big, big group can, cannot go. Because we walk, we can go into small villages and that's where you can find the real beauty of Japan. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,